Hello everyone, I am Terra the Fox, and let's play Winter Novel! A nice short little visual novel. Uh, a very, very interesting one, needless to say. Uh, if you look at the background, like you can tell there's a bunch of colors with numbers on them. Yeah, this is the art style for it. Really interesting. Like, I, I actually really like the artwork to this, just because it's definitely something you wouldn't see that often. Or it's not really your typical run-down-the-mill regular visual novel that you would see on Steam. The story is kind of a little okay-ish. It's not terrible, but it's okay-ish. But the artwork... Very fascinating. Just, just fascinating. Just look at all this. How do you accomplish this? Anyway, we're going to be Let's Playing a Winter Novel. A nice little short story. Not sure if it's going to be one or two episodes, so... If it's one episode, hooray! If it's two, then... Yay! More video, I guess! <laughs> anyway, enough babbling, because I suck at intros. Let's begin a new game. Farther from the screen, the better view. Right-click to press... G up, to return to previous. Oh. Telling you some controls. How nice the game. Snow. Snow, 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 and snow again. It's cold and gloomy out there. Some people like the snow. For them, snow means New Year fun. Snowball fights, sled rides, snowmen. But I've never liked it. Except for during my early childhood when Santa Claus was real and the gifts were... interesting. <laughs> but all this is in the past. I felt it especially hard when I started to live on my own. And here we have our main protagonist. Whose name is Feta. I'm gonna say this right now, I'm gonna butcher names because I think these are Russian names? And if it's not Russian, I apologize. I think they're Russian. There's some other country's name. I know that for sure. <laughs> but I'm going to butcher those names. So if you're saying, oh my god, that's not how you pronounce it, Tara. God, go dump it in a ditch or something. I apologize in advance. I'm not the best with foreign names. So don't be too hard on me. I acknowledge my mistakes. So, Sveta. I'm going to assume it's Sveta. If it's not, then, well, too bad. Since then, almost every winter evening, I feel alone. I have some friends, of course. I always have fun with them when we're together. But do I really have any close friends anymore? I did have tr two true friends, Vitaly and Lena. Lena recently married and moved to the other side of the city. She really has time to see old friends these days. Oh, that sucks. But again, that's what married life can do to ya. Vitaly gave up his dream of being a rock star, dressed up in a suit, and is now sn climbing the corporate ladder in another city. Hmm? Well, can't always become a rock star. We gotta pursue other dreams, I guess. Since then, life has become dull and gray for me. Of course, you can go out and meet new people. Have fun, relax, enjoy, dance, and enjoy people's company. But everyone I meet when I go out are boring and shallow. I wish I could find people with similar interests. Eh, back to work tomorrow. Sometimes I wonder where the word work came from. Seems to me somehow it's more like slavery. Eh, slavery you have to do shit for free with and be treated like crap, usually. Uh, work, you get paid for it, no matter how crappy the work is. And how much you work, actually. You still get paid for it. Whether that got, that is good pay, that's depends on the job, I guess. So, just saying. Nothing ever changes. I better go to bed. Dot dot dot. 
So here we have a girl who's not too happy with herself. Or I guess not where life is leading her so far. Ugh, you morons! Learn to play the game properly! Yes, you! How is it my fault that you're getting lag? Mm, that's true. When you play video games, it's usually the person who has lag. But whatever. Damn, why do I constantly end up with newbies on my team? Oh no! The blue screen of death! Oh, that is so sad. Dot dot dot. Again? Ugh! Stupid machine. That does it. I'm done. Time for a coffee break. Whoops. I had no idea it was that late already. I'm going to be a mess tomorrow. Crap. So here we have our other protagonist. Vlad. Seems he's more of a video gamer. About the weather. Look at the weather. It's too snowy. Some snow, they said. No, too much snow. Well, snow's not the end of the world, I imagine. For some places, it's very helpful for them. I digress. Snow, 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 and snow again. It's dead quiet out there. Am I wasting my life here? I could sit back and play games now, but what about my future? Maybe it's time for a change. To find a permanent job? Ugh, I'm giving myself a headache here. Ugh. Back to the computer before I drive myself insane. Meanwhile, in the bank. Of course, you can make use of our services at any time. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye. I'm sick and tired of those stupid people. People have told me that I shouldn't be in customer service. But I thought I knew better than them. What an idiot. <laughs> oh yeah, customer service, uh. <laughs> oh. You're either really, really, really good at it, or you really, really suck at it. I handled it for a long ass time before I realized I don't like it. <laughs> uh, anyway. And now I have to serve this arrogant lot day after day because of this. I wish I hadn't declined when they offered me the position at in procurement. In procurement? Hmm. Anyway. Hello, how can I help you? Hi, I would like to. Well, a nice young man. Again. Another one of those narcissistic idiots who don't care about anyone but themselves. And again, I have to wear that smile on duty which looks so idiotic. Oh yeah, I feel ya. And I have to listen to him with a straight face and provide him with our set answers. I'm so tired of all this. Can you help me? Oh, I'm sorry. Could you repeat that please? Well, why did I bother asking if she's not going to listen in the first place? Isn't it her job to help customers? Now I'm standing here wasting my time with her. I've got enough problems without adding to them. You know, I think I'll use the services of another bank. Bye. Well, that seems kind of silly. You're at one. You might as well just repeat yourself and just be done with it. Kind of silly. Vlad's kind of silly. Wait, please, maybe I could still help you? Well, I've lost another customer. Again. Oh, I kind of like this background. Like, really dark, but then it's all gray, too. Nice. It's actually really nice. I really like the visuals in this game. Like, some people were just like, eh, it's a hit or miss for some people, but for me personally, I really like it. I just... I'm kind of curious as to how this was all kind of done. But anyway. Which means another lecture from the supervisor. Again! As if it's my fault that the bank never has enough employees. It's really not my job to just stand here and listen to all these people. Well, I imagine to a certain degree, it is actually, but I digress. As it is, I should be on holidays now. This is the third year in a row that I haven't had a Christmas vacation. 
All these little things keep piling up and making my life hell. Ah, uh, I should stop brooding about it. The weather is really fine today. I really get a chance to go out and enjoy such a beautiful day. It was snowing hard yesterday, but today it's like a warm spring afternoon. Okay, I've decided. It's too fine a day to travel home by bus, so I'll walk instead. Oh, that's a good attitude, I think. The bus sucks. Let's take a nice healthy walk outside because it's such a nice day. I wish I did that more often. At least I'll get some fresh air. Besides, it's not that far to go. Meanwhile... Yuck! Slush! Disgusting! This weather is awful! The boss forced me to walk these documents over to the other side of the city. Why me? Half of the other workers at the bank have their own cars. Why not ask them? There's no transport at all. Maybe the walk is not such a bad alternative. But do I really have to put up with all this mud and slush as well? Where are all those beautiful days I enjoyed in my youth? The sun was always warm and shining. Birds singing in the trees. Eh. Okay. I'll get there somehow. It's my fault that I'm out here anyway. Later that evening. Uh, one thing I'll quickly mention, the transitions are a little... Awkward? Like, or kind of rushed. No, awkward is more appropriate, I think. They just feel a little awkward and kind of sudden sometimes, so... So be kind of prepared for that, especially later in the game. But for now, it, it's barely tapping into it. Anyway, later that evening... Hi girls! How great was it that we finally made it to the cafe today? Oh, that's... Not us, that's one of the girls. Uh, oh, let me give them a new voice, this might as well. Hey girls, how great was it that we finally made it to the cafe today? I even breathed fresh air a bit. I haven't been anywhere for a long time. The supervisor won't even let me go on vacation. Sveta, you're the great m martyr. My sympathies. Oh, by the way, have you heard what happened recently? That was kind of sudden. Uh, if you didn't quite understand it, uh, Sveta was trying to talk to them about her problems, but her friends did seem to care. They literally said, oh, that sucks. Okay, anyway, have you heard what happened? Oh my god. Bunch of douches. Meanwhile. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a car going out. I don't know if you hear that on my mic, but if you can, my apologies. Maybe I shouldn't have been so angry with that girl earlier earlier today. Looked like she just wasn't having a good day. We all have those. Why am I worrying about that for? And why am I playing online? Okay, time to get to work. Oh, you don't play video games for a living? Darn. Glad I'm able to work from home on the net. Oh, so he does something on the internet then. Nice. You aren't bothered by anyone, have coffee breaks when you want, work at your own pace. That night, <laughs> suddenly cuts off from his little dialogue. Yeah, like I said, the story is a little awkward. Most because of the transitions, but... But again, look at this artwork, look! Look at the night sky, how it starts up so bright and it slowly gets dark, as you know it's supposed to be, but the way they did it... So, so, so nice. And this Christmas tree, look at it, look at it, it's fantastic! Ah, oh, I just kind of wish that I knew how they did it. I imagine it's probably with old technology that I'm not familiar with, because I... Eh, anyway. I'm glad that day is over. Finally, I'm home. Time to make some tea, then read a book in bed, and just forget the whole day. I wish I had... I was one of those her... Whoa, I can read. I wish I was one of the heroes in my books. Who can do whatever the, you want. And the best thing of all, you know that they're going to have a happy ending. Eh, some books do. A good majority. But I won't say all of them do, so you gotta be careful with that. And the worlds are so, mo so much more interesting than this dull, frozen reality. If only I could be there, not here. 
I know their products are someone's imagination, but they're so wonderful compared to my life. Yeah, books are pretty fun. And here we have Svet laying down on her- I'm assuming her bed. It could be her couch, but I'm assuming her bed. It's kind of a little hard to tell, actually. And often, only in a dream does one return to the childhood. The only time where they can feel truly contented. And here we have a transition saying, Day 1, Monday. My nephew surfed in the internet yesterday and made a comparative analysis of the websites. He said that our site does not meet modern design trends and has very poor functionality. We, just, we need to fix this urgently. We must correspond at the highest level. All of our co competitors think we're a laughing stock. So, Sveta, Svetlana Borisov, Borisovna? Like I said, four names. I'm not very good. So please, if you're gonna judge me, please judge me kindly, please. You'll be assisting the programmer we'll be bringing in today. But be warned, this is your last chance. If you can't deal with well with customers, will you be will you be able to deal with a single programmer? If you can't, you know the company does not need useless people. Yes, of course. I'll do my best. Ha! <laughs> he can't dismiss me. I work like a slave from morning till night. Where would he find another idiot like me who would do this kind of work? They're putting too much on me. Later that day. Good morning, Svetlana Borsova. I would like to introduce you to Vladis Vladislav Yurevik. Your Yur Yurevik. Again, no judging, please. Vladislav Vladislav will be dealing with the technical aspects of the site. Zvet will control all the processes and be guiding the general direction of the project. Dot, dot, dot. Our expert has provided me with a report of his analysis. Our website is fine overall, but some sections are requiring urgent updating, not to mention some of the contact information is completely out of date. We have to process these updates manually, so we have to work together to resolve this. Refer to the technical task list for more details. Dot, dot, dot. Vlad, I understand that we're paying higher than the regular contract fee for this order. We're needing this project completed as soon as possible. There's no room for error. You've got excellent references, so we've decided to hire you for this task. Don't disappoint us. Yeah, I know what he's thinking. Those references are the last thing he's interested in. I can already see what's coming. They'll give me a huge task, expect it to be completed within a ridiculously short time frame, and then pay me a pittance for all of my hard work. They're bringing in a contractor because they know they can get away with paying me a quarter of the standard salary rate. But compared with my previous contracts, this order is really big. Keep in mind, the deadline is, is in one week. If you don't manage to do all the work, we will abort the project. Well, this update really is necessary. So if they get it finished in time, fine, I'll pay. But there's nothing to stop me from overloading them with additional requirements that they'll never be able to finish within the deadline. <laughs> and look at the evil little flames in the background because he's so damn evil! In that case, according to the contract, we are perfectly within our rights to withhold all payments for the provided work. Vlad hasn't noticed that clause of the contract. He signed it without look, without a detailed look. That goof. Yeah, that is quite a Vlad's fault if he doesn't look at the contract completely. And then again, here we are, working on this program. Vlad, I thought you said you worked at home. Why the hell are you over here? And as our two protagonists are a little awkward with each other. Oh, great. Here I, am, here I am stuck with that in, inattentive girl from yesterday. This sucks. I'll have to do everything myself. Of course, it's good when someone brings in a professional for this kind of work, and they trust him enough to allow him to use his own discretion. But I can already see it in her eyes that these people will all be like this. I don't like it. Do it differently. It's nonsense. How can you work with it like that? 
Then I have to try and explain to them that acid green color is a bad choice for a corporate website. And that you have to start from scratch when you've almost completed the project and they suddenly ask for all these changes. The flames in the background. Not happening. If they don't give me a complete task list up front, they'll, be, they'll keep changing each step and I'll be stuck here until they finally make up their minds. I'm not having that. On the other hand, this order is very tasty. I usually get contracted for small orders, which don't pay much. And finally, here's my chance at a big paycheck. Okay, I'll give it a shot. Way to quickly change your mood there. Hi there, sounds like we'll be working together. I'm looking forward to it. They've piled the work up on me again, and again I can't refuse because they can't fire me at a whim if I do. Weren't you saying before that they can't fire you because you work like a slave and they couldn't find another idiot like you? Anyway. What could I do if that happened? My work experience is next to nothing. I have to make a living somehow. Pay rent? Looks like I'll have to work with this complete jerk. He'll show his true colors and probably end up being completely useless. And I'll have to end up doing everything myself. I'm so sick and tired of this. I've made up my mind. I'll make the boss give me my vacation time next week. Otherwise, I'll kick you the bucket out of here. Weren't you just getting kind of upset that you were about to get fired? I'm kind of confused with this girl because the story does kind of flip back and forth with itself a little bit. Oh, I gotta have this job because I need to pay rent. But if he doesn't give me my vacation time next week, I'm leaving. Make up your mind, girl. Hello. Yes, I'm looking forward to it as well. Let's start with the terms of the reference. Toward the end of the day. Well done. Good job. Yeah, at least we now got a plan and place to work through. Yes, this will help us save time when we get started. Would you like some tea? Yes, please, Svet Svetlana. I just wanted to say that you're not only a professional, but you're also great to work with. You're very polite. Of course, it's part of my job to work with people. That's great. Do you like it here? To be honest, I find it very difficult to work with people. Hmm. I don't understand how you can do something that you don't like. What would you rather be doing? Me? I like to be a princess at court in a romance novel. Or perhaps a magician fighting evil in a high fantasy. Wow. You're fond of reading books? Like me? And you like the fantasy genre too? Which, who's your favorite author? Well, I have no favorite author as such. I read a great number of them. I recently read... Okay, I'm gonna butcher this like the hell. Grin and Kova. I recently read Grin and Kova. Let's go with that. I liked it very much. Oh, same here. If she structured, structured her stories properly, she would be at the top of the fantasy bestsellers list. Oh, here comes the boss. Let's get back to work. Evening comes, and we're going to continue on with such. I'm beat. It is still easier to deal with technology than with people. As always, it's easier working on the site itself than trying to work out exactly what the customer wants. Sveta looks exhausted. Is she overloaded there? Or maybe she just missed her lunch break. We read the same books. I never have guessed. She looks like an overdressed doll and nothing more. Well, that doesn't matter. The main thing is that there will be no problems. I could tell from my previous orders, as soon as we're done, we're likely to never cross paths again. We have a lot of work ahead of us. I'll worry about that later. Now it's time for a game. Hell yeah, them video games. Dot dot dot. Meanwhile, with our Sveta. I'm exhausted. I'm fed up with all that. I can barely move. I came to work expecting it to be a regular day and ended up having to help with that garbage instead. Who needs all these weird pronouns anyway? And why am I the only one who has to run around doing the deliveries? What am I? A courier? But it's not enough to just deliver them. They don't like that. They don't like what you brought, or you're too they're too early. Or they end up not needing that stuff in the first place, and never a word of thanks. Those bastards. Five years at university, and this is what I get for my efforts? Aw oh, dang, all that money wasted. 
what's the point in me writing up all these papers all night if they're no use to anyone in the first place? I'm furious. It's half past nine already, and I've still got nothing done around the house because of my tiredness. Now I have to spend another whole weekend cleaning up. Oh well. Time for my book. I stopped at an interesting point yesterday. I thought you said you were too tired to clean, and yet you're okay reading? I, I think you're procrastinating. Which I might have been one or two <clears throat> guilty of. <clears throat> day two, Tuesday. Uh, these numbers do, the day two and day ones, uh, do come into play as you'll find out soon enough. Good morning, Miss Svetlana. Are you ready to get started? What's first on our list? Database structure? Oh, good morning! Ooh. Okay, let's begin. By the way, can you please not call me Miss? Call me by my name only. Svetlana, okay? Sure. Did he call you Miss? Or did I accidentally skip that? Oh. Are you okay? You look really tired. I was up late reading the, a book I was really getting into. What book was that? We don't know, because it says after a while. <laughs> We're back to work again, apparently. Okay, break time's over. We have to get back to work, otherwise we'll end up behind schedule. This project has a huge task list, so I won't be doing what I've done with previous orders and process everything on the last day of submission. Svetlana, I'm back! Hello? Svetlana? Ah, here we are, seeing her sleeping on the couch. Sleeping on the job, Svetlana? How could you? What's up with her? Is she sleeping? <laughs> Look at her. When she's asleep, she looks so happy. Damn, her bus is coming! Sh she'll really get it if, she's, if he sees her sleeping on the job! Oh, crap! Svetlana, wake up! Your bus is coming this way! Hey! Wake up! Just a little louder. Svetlana, get up! Please! Come on, Svetlana! Well, hello, hello! How's everything going? Good afternoon. The project is in full swing. We're currently working on the database. Excellent. Sounds like you're working hard. And what about Svetlana? Is she asleep? No! No, I'm not. How could you think I did that? I, I've just been looking for my pencil. Under the table. Aren't we sitting on a couch? Or were we really under a table? Anyway. Hmm. Well then, hurry on. And don't forget about the deadline. Let me see if I can move that mouse right there so it's not in the way. Well, well, Sveta. You've really taken sleeping on the drop, sleeping on the job and turned it into an art form, haven't you? And what about you, Vlad? Someone's bound to notice eventually if you keep taking these little breaks from work all the time. Well, I can't help it. I'm used to working alone at home, so I've never had to worry about supervisors watching my every move. Get used to it fast. The one thing you must always remember when around our boss is to look like you're constantly working like a dog. You need to learn how to manage your time and make sure you find time to rest. Yeah, maybe. Is it just me, or are we a lot more relaxed with each other after that whole thing with the boss. Oh, definitely. The first step to becoming a team. Anyway, let's get back to work. We haven't checked the database structure yet. Towards the end of the working day. This is hopeless. We don't have enough time to finish all this. Come on, Sveta. It's our se this is just our second day. There's still plenty of time to get this done. If I have to, I'll work through the night before the submission deadline to make sure everything is finished. I've done that plenty of times before. Really? Are you sure? Here, take a look at the task list. We've got a hundred or so pages to process. Not only do we have to make sure the data space is sound, there's also this documentation that we need to update or add. Seriously? I usually process small orders. I'm not sure if I can manage this kind of workload. 
And why the hell did you take that job, you idiot? Ugh. And also within a week time? Ah. Uh, know yourself, boy. Know yourself. Well, I can tell you right now that, that at this rate, we definitely won't finish by the deadline. And you know what that means. Yeah, what should we do? Well, I'd suggest that we put in some overtime, but the bank closes at 17.30 sharp, so that won't work for us. That won't work for us. Yeah, I do believe this is uh, by a foreign uh, indie company or somebody else. Because this is done in military time, and that's normally more common in foreign countries than here in America, where it's like we have the AM and PM to tell the difference, whereas other countries they tend to do military time, so I imagine this is from a foreign country. Specifically Russia because of the names, but again, I could be wrong as a country. Anyway. Hmm. Then I have an idea. Svetlana, are you free tonight? I would like to invite you to the cafe. Um, so we can keep working. <laughs> well, Vladislav, since you insist, then I agree to go to the cafe with you. After all, time is very short, and if we don't manage to get our work on time, there will be a lot of problems. Well, that's great. Let's meet at 18.30 in the cafe near the circus. Okay, and don't forget to bring all the papers and the laptop! Evening comes, and we're at the cafe. Wow, how did you know that, the e that in the evening this cafe was almost empty? You can work here in relative peace and quiet. This comes with being a freelancer. You get to know all the places where and when it's possible to work. In case you have to share a flat with somebody and can't work from home. So the one thing that I find interesting, I know this is kind of more common in Japan, but I'm not really too sure in other countries besides that. But there's th there be cafes to where you can actually hook up your computer or use their computer and just browse through the internet and do whatever you want. Uh, I know in Japan they normally have like gaming type of cafes to where you can just sit down and play games all day if you wanted to and like order it like a cup of cup of coffee or tea or whatever you want. So that's also pretty nice. I want to say this is kind of similar in that aspect. Or they're just bringing their own laptop and I'm thinking way too much into it. <laughs> probably the latter. I'm probably thinking too much into it. Anyway. Story time. Enough chatter. This- oh, I just already read that. Many people in this line of work first started when they were living in a hostel. It's almost impossible to work there, you know. Yet, a customer could call at any time. That's why you have to be mobile. And the performance of the circus today has been quite popular, so most of the people are there watching it. But look at out if you're when the performance ends. There will be crowds of people here afterwards. The performance, performance finishes late, so we've got plenty of time. And to you, this just comes with the job? It's not as easy as I thought. I've always thought that you can just sit and click away with the mouse. Ha ha ha, what are we doing? Anyway. Well, it always looks easy from someone else's perspective. Let's take these pa papers, for example. At first glance, it looks like all you need to do is follow the instructions step by step, and you won't have any problems, right? It seems like even a robot can handle it, but it's never that simple. There's a lot of work that goes into it which people not in the field can understand. Well, yes, we need higher education, not just for showing off. By the way, you fell asleep at your desk today, you know, why? Well, I was up reading till 3 a.m. again, and I must be at work at 8 o'clock, so I didn't get enough sleep. Besides, I find it easier to work at night. Aha! Same here! I can't understand how people who are early birds. But what can I do? Every weekday we have to come to work by 8 o'clock sharp. I feel like a zombie every morning, but look on the bright side. I know the morning work routine as well. I can practically do it in my sleep, so there's no harm in me being halfway there already. <laughs> 
Well, it's great that it works for you, but that's certainly not for me. No way in hell! And what time do you come in during the day? If you're working on this project with us. Eh, anyway. Okay, early riser. Let's get back to work. Later that evening at the cafe. Even after all we've done here tonight, we're still not having any... We're still not giving... Wow, watch me. We're still not going to have enough time to finish this. There's just too much to get through. T Sveta, take it easy, okay? So we haven't taken a few things into account with our scheduling. It happens to everyone. We have enough work without all this. We've been at this for, what, 12 hours already? What was the point? It feels like we've hardly accomplished anything at all here. What are you talking about? We're slowly getting there. I think. Tomorrow we'll have to work at the same rate. I'm fed up. It's time to go home. I need to get some sleep. Otherwise I won't be able to focus on anything at all tomorrow. Well, I guess you're right, Sveta. See you tomorrow? Day 3 Wednesday. Hope to god we didn't freaking read a book till late into the night, cause... That makes sense, even though we're tired. Morning. Morning. You look terrible. Were you up all night reading that book again? Oh well, I did try to get some decent sleep. I went to bed shortly after I got home. I might as well get started for the day. Alright. Sure, we'll continue with the documentation and see how the others would go with the new structure. Ah, here's the website team. How's it going, everyone? Everything well? We've come across a few issues, but we're almost finished with troubleshooting them. We were working through them down at the cafe yesterday. Heck, sounds like they're ahead of schedule. So what should I do? If they keep up with this pace, they'll be finished soon. I'll have to pay them in full. If I didn't promise to pay such a high rate to the contract, then there wouldn't be a problem. I don't have the funds to spare. Funds spare to pay them. Why'd you offer them such a high price, you douche? bank is working through a very lucrative business deal. All of our finances have been allocated to it, so we just don't have the money to pay our website team. Huh. That's interesting. I need to fix this right now. If I throw more work at them, they won't, then they won't be able to finish the website in time, and the problem will be solved. <laughs> Flame in the background. <laughs> By the way, Svetlana, something's come up. We have our annual tax verification coming up, and I need your assistance with that right away. But Vladislav can't do this without me. Sure he can. He's a smart guy. I think he'll be fine. Okay then. Let's get this done as soon as possible so we can get back to work here. Yes, yes, of course. Let's get to it. She's going to take on so much, she'll be swamped. By the way, Svetlana, what are you prepared that monthly report for tomorrow's meeting? Have you prepared that monthly report for tomorrow's meeting? Heck, that damn report! I haven't even started it! With all this project work, I haven't had the time to even think about it! Of course it's ready! It's my responsibility! Hmm... Okay, I'll look forward to your reviews tomorrow morning. Closer to dinner time. <laughs> Vlad, your work is really dropping behind. Is... did something happen? Nothing. So what's the problem? I'm just tired. Well, pull yourself together, okay? Aw, oh, he's so tired. So, so tired. Yeah. Don't give me that yeah response. You've got that spaced out look again. Look, it's almost dinner time. So how about you take an early break and go out for a walk? The fresh air will help you focus on work when you get back. <sighs> okay. Dinner. Hmm. Flat's not back yet. He shouldn't be too far away. After dinner time. He's really taking his time. And then the end of the workday. That does it. I can't do this all myself. I'm phoning his mobile. Damn, he's not answering. Now towards the evening. And this is their phone conversation. Yeah, transitions are very, very, 
Very awkward. Vlad, why didn't you answer my call earlier? Sorry, I thought. Thought what? Did you even know what time it is? No. What? Wake up, Blockhead! You should have been back at the office ages ago! I can't work on this site without you! Oh, it's that late already? I hadn't noticed. Okay, what's gotten into you? I'm really worried. To be honest, I don't usually deal with this kind of workload. I'm used to working from home by myself with no set schedule. All I ever had to do is get my work done on time, but there's always been plenty of time before the cutoff date. Not like this project. So what? You're feeling a bit worn down is all. You'll be back to your normal self in no time. Sorry, did you say something? I missed that. Douche. There you go, spacing out on me again. Look, things aren't that bad, okay? Yes, we have a lot of work to do and not much time to do it, but we can handle it, right? Then, after we're finished here, not only will you have a big payday, you'll also have a build-up reputation for being an excellent developer. That's gotta be a worthy goal, don't you think? Does all that really matter? Maybe I should stick with what I know. Do you really believe that? You wanted your life to change, right? Well, this is your chance. I know it's a big step, but if you keep pushing forward, I can guarantee that all that we've done here will be worth it. We just have to keep at it. If you quit now, then nothing will change. Yeah, maybe you're right. This is probably my best shot at changing my life. There you go. You're sounding better already. Everything will be fine. Yeah, I don't want to have people think I'm a whiner. Just, just wish we could squash that amount of workload we have flat. Thank you for the pep talks, Feta. I really needed, needed that. Thank you. My pleasure. I expect to see you in full fighting form tomorrow? Absolutely. See you then. Bye. Bye. Well, Vlad's feeling better, but that really took it out of me. I convinced him to keep going. Now I just now I just have to believe that this work Wow. Now I just have to believe this will all work out itself. Work out myself. Wow, I really cannot read that sentence. Most mind-boggling sentence in the world, apparently. Day 4, Thursday. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, one more month of hard work has come to an end. All of you have been working very hard. And now, I would like each of you to present your report about your achievements and the results of work. Okay, let's get down to business. We'll start with... Hey, didn't know Sveta's Sveta's friends were here. Ha ha ha. I'm so tired. That's odd. When I'm up reading late at night, I feel fine in the morning. Really? You Before you were saying you're tired. But whatever. And even though I'm now going to bed earlier, I feel like I'm getting no sleep at all. I don't want this fatigue go away. Ah, that's a mental thing. If you're mentally tired, then no matter how much rest your body gets, you'll still feel freaking tired. Trust me, I've been there before. Good times. Good times. This blasted meeting. I shouldn't have to be here. Never mind. I'll just sit here and let everyone else do with the talking. I shouldn't be bothered by anyone. Lana? Svelana Borsova. Are you still with us? Would you be so kind to present your report for the last month? Eh? Oh, sure. This month I have made progress with... I could just read off the report and then I can make... take it easy for the rest of the meeting. I had no idea that presenting a report was so easy compared with preparing one. That concludes my report. Excuse me? What was that? That's all? Is that some kind of joke? Where's the rest of it? What about those tasks from last month that you haven't finalized yet? Well, you know we've been focused on the website, uploading the documents, and... That's no excuse. If you can't title your workload, then you're not good enough to hold your position. Are you sure you should be sitting here with us and not in the closet with the cleaners? Unlike you, they seem to co cope with their work. But the figures for last month are almost on target. Almost? Almost? We're, all we're talking about the previous month, and from what I can tell so far, you you're falling behind with this current month's work. Absolutely disgraceful. 
department manager. What is your opinion on Spedal or Solida's current performance? I can't say that she's better at her job, but perhaps she's too young to retain focus on priorities. I love to think she was found sleeping at her workstation. That's awful. I was not sleeping. I'm always putting in my best work here. Alright, that's all for today for you, Svetlana. You're excused from the rest of the meeting. I want you to go out go out and have a good long think about what you're doing. Let me remind you that we don't need employees that can't cope with their responsibilities. I hope you understand what will happen if you keep missing your quota. Sveta, what happened? Your eyes are all red. Have you been crying? No, I'm not. Nothing happened. Don't give me that! I can see something's wrong. What is it? Hey, why do you care? It's not like it affects you. What do you mean, why do you care? Of course I do! We're a team! We're buddies! We're pals! So what? That doesn't mean you get the right to poke your nose into my business! Sveta, come on, this isn't like you. <sighs> I'm sorry. My boss was shouting at me for most of the meeting today, and now an absolute wreck. Sorry I lost my temper at you like that. Do you mind if I have a break? I should be fine after I settle down with coffee. Sure, and try not to worry about, about it too much. I'm sure everything will work out just fine. I wish I had your confidence. Hey now, what's happened to the woman who was doing all the reassuring on the phone last night? Come on, everything will be fine. Uh-huh. Take a good look here. Do you really think we can get all this done in time? What other choice is there? We keep at it and we'll make it happen. Eh. I really do wish I had your self-confidence. You had some yesterday on the phone, but sure. She wishes she had his confidence. Okay. Okay. Let's get back to it. Even the section about our company needs to be changed. After a couple of hours and a nice cup of coffee. Vlad, what the heck are you doing? Hmm? I'm just working through the- What do you mean? I told you that you should make the structure according to the project plan. When was that? One day? Remember, we never finished it and agreed to discuss it later. What's so unclear here? Just stick with the program until we get- We get to where we left off. Okay, okay, you're right. I'm a little bit off today. I'll go get some air, okay? I promise I won't be gone long. You sure? You're not gonna be gone before, during, after dinner, into the evening? Freaking douche. Okay, but be quick, please. We've still got a lot of work ahead of us. Affirmative. This unit will comply. Get out of here, you comedian. Sveta is absolutely worn thin. She's completely snowed on her with her work. I wouldn't have thought her boss would do that to her. I have to help her somehow. If she keeps enduring this kind of pressure, she's going to fall apart. She's so stressed out with worry that she can't concentrate on anything. There's gotta be something I could do to help her help her mind to Eddie's. After half an hour. Here I am! What took you so long? I've been stuck here buried in all this work. Private Vlad, reporting for duty! Enough of the jokes already. Sit down and get back to work. We're running out of time at this as it is. Just a second, Sveta. I bought a little gift for you. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Oh. Hey, how did you know I like milk chocolate? Mmm. Chocolate. Didn't I tell you? I'm the greatest magician in the world. I have knowledge and power beyond imagination. <laughs> Actually, I just noticed that all of your books' marks are made up from chocolate wrappers. Well, I'll have it later. Well, let's get back to work. No, you need to have it right now! Huh? Why? Because... Come on, Sveta, you didn't even get a break for lunch. Yeah, you need some little energy to boost up your day. Well, okay then. Thanks for this, Vlad. Great. I'll go and make us some coffee. Toward the end of the working day. Finally, we're making some headway. In the past hour, we've put in so much work as we did all of yesterday. Ex 
excuse me, Vladislav, but could you help me for a moment? Something is wrong with my PC and our help desk officer is away on a business trip. Sorry, I'd like to help, but I just don't have the time. But tomorrow I need it in some to hand in some documents that are stored in a hard drive. Okay. Vlad, go and help her. I can't handle thing I can handle things by myself for a while. Sveta, are you sure? Yeah. I should be fine if it doesn't take too long to help out. Okay, I'll be back soon. After half an hour. Vlad's been gone for ages. I hate to admit it, but it's not as easy to get through this without him here. Half an hour is ages? <laughs> yeah. Sh shut up, Sveta. Shut up. We're working a lot. We're a lot faster working together as a team. This is taking too long. I wonder how Sveta's doing. I better hurry, hurry this up. It took another half an hour. What is wrong with me? I wish Vlad would come back soon. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought he was. Alright, that's it. No more. I've helped out enough for one day. It's high time I got back to Sveta. Ten minutes later. And here we have Sveta. Doing something and looking up. Hi, Sveta. Sorry I'm late. That's okay. I'm still working through everything. Did you get much done? Not much at all, I'm afraid. It's a lot easier when you're here to help. Well, don't worry about it. We'll knuckle down and push through the rest this afternoon. Hopefully. After half an hour. I think I overestimated myself. I'm exhausted. We've been here half an hour and we've barely done anything at all. Yeah, and we don't have time to, left to do much more today anyway. Good point. Let's go home. Tomorrow we can start fresh. Good. See you tomorrow then? See you tomorrow! Together, staying at the exact same time and I'm not that skilled to do that. Tomorrow is another day.